Hi guys, welcome to Teach to Code with Mario. So today what we're going to make is a coin flipping application. Let's jump right into it. So I'm going to call this coin flip test. Alright, so we're going to need a couple of integers, so let's set our variables. We're going to need an integer called coin, and then we're going to need um, flip, that's right. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is do some objects, so we're going to want to use the scanner for this. That's where the flip variable comes into play. So system dot in on the scanner. <clears throat> Don't forget to add your imports. And then what we're gonna do is do random. Rand is equal to new random. get to add your imports. So now we have our scanner object and our random object. So let's go ahead and uh, system that out print ln. Uh, how many times How many times do you want to flip the coin? <clears throat> no, so I, we'll store that into scan. I'm oh, sorry, we're going to store that into coin. Not, not coin, flip, sorry. So flip is equal to scan dot next int. So we're asking them how many times do they want to flip the coin. We're going to store that inside a flip. So now what we want to say if flip is less than zero. We could do a print statement here. Let's say system dot out dot print ln. Let's say enter a well. Let's say error first. Enter a number greater. Okay, so <clears throat> if the flip that the user enters happened to be less than zero, we're just simply going to print this out. Enter a number greater than zero. Else, we're going to do a lot more. <laughs> so let's see what we got to do here. <clears throat> so first we should probably say coin is equal to rand dot next int, and we'll say two. Since we have a coin, we only need two possibilities, 0 and 1. So if coin, push this down just a little bit, is equal, equal to 0. Let me push down a little bit, sorry. System that out, that print, ln. We could pick either heads or tails for this, but I'm going to pick heads. So anytime I round a variable, because it's going to go in here and it's going to decide, you know, if this is a random variable. And actually, we're going to have to make the for loop in a while. So, else coin 
Well, not outside. I have too many things in my head right now. System dot out dot print ln tails. Okay, so uh, so this will run and it's gonna run one time. We didn't use the flip yet. So where we were supposed to use the flip is here in the the loop. And actually the loop is going to go in here in the else statement, which I know is a little weird. So for int i is equal to 0, well i is less than or equal to flip. No, let's just say less than flip. i plus plus. So now I'm going to grab all my code and move it over. Or I'm going to erase it. Nice. Okay. Let's try this again. Nice. So this is why I like my curly braces the way I have them. Um, you might like your first curly brace up here and that's perfectly fine. You know, whatever works for you. So now we should be able to pick the amount of flips. Here we go. So let's say we want to flip it twice. Two heads. Let's say we want to flip it a hundred times. Cool. So now let's say we want to run some theoretical probability. So theoretical probability is assuming, well, isn't assuming that we're going to get always a 50% chance that we can throw a heads and... 50% chance that we could throw a tail. So, if you remember probability, there's always half a chance, right? The coin only has two possibilities. And if you call heads, you're calling one out of those two possibilities. 0 0.5. So, we're going to set two variables here, H count and T count. <clears throat> now, every time we get a heads, we're going to do H count plus plus. And then we're going to do, oh, we got to set it, actually. So we're going to set it equal to 0. We're going to set t count equal to 0. And then here we're going to get t count plus plus. And then here outside of the, actually outside of the for loop is where we want to print these. System.out.println. Since they're integers, we have to be careful. So let's just say something like a string, right? Heads ratio. So what we want to do is do head count on top. We're going to do something tricky, times it by 1.0, which isn't going to change the number. Then we're going to divide it by flip. Now, 1.0 times the H count. You might say, why are you doing that if it's not going to change the number? Well, H count is an integer, so if I times it by a double, 1.0, it actually turns into a double. Because this ratio is going to come out as a decimal. So what we want to do is definitely times it by 1.0. So that way the number stays the same, but we get a... Um, we get a decimal value for the ratio. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and see if it works. So let's say let's flip 10 times. So 0 0.6 means there was six heads. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four tails, one, two, three, four. Beautiful. And theoretical probability well, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, right at 10,000. Let me try 100,000 and just see what it does. Am I at 100,000? No. There we go. <clears throat> so you could run a lot of theoretical probabilities using Java in this fashion. And you'll see it gets very close the more iterations we have of the coin.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.